Hey guys, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. And I want to let you know that we're going to start a contest every month. So for the whole year, every month we're going to be giving away some bling. You can get some swag like our B-52 Bucktails, get our Magic Metal Jigs. We're also going to be giving away t-shirts and hats from the TV show. And a few of you are going to win free fishing trips. Join me on filming trips or join me on a trip on my own boat, the Misuenio that I do private charters on. So to qualify for these giveaways, all you have to do is subscribe right here to my YouTube channel, leave a comment down below, and please follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and you'll qualify to win some of these great prizes. Every month I'll be giving them away. So enjoy the video, and I'll talk to you afterwards. Hey guys, Dan here. I want to talk to you a little bit about wintertime fishing. It's a time of year right now, it's January, and I know a lot of you still want to go fishing. Some of you have your own boats and you're wondering what kind of fishing can you do uh, this time of year. And uh, there's a bunch of different fish you can go fish for. No rockfish, of course, but there's still calico bass, sand bass, halibut, white sea bass, stuff like that you can go try to catch. And along the beaches, there's plenty of surf fishing to do. But for those of you that are gonna head on a party boat, or if you have your own boat and you wanna go fish locally here in Southern California, um, I wanna to talk to you about the most versatile lure and the best lure I feel for this time of year, and I use them all year round, but especially in the colder water months, is the fish of bucktail. There's nothing that beats a bucktail when you have to slow down your fishing, you have to take time to deliberately hit the fish on the head with a bait. A bucktail works really good. I use bucktails all the time. I use them in the summertime, I use them in the winter, I use them in the fall, and I catch fish year round on them. One thing I like about bucktails is that in the colder months, when the colder water comes around and the fish are real particular, they're not going to go chase anything. You can basically hit them on the head with the bucktail and they're going to bite it. And there's different ways to fish them and they come in a wide range of sizes. You can see them all on my website. These are the B52 bucktails. I make these and I have them for sale on my website. You can find them in some tackle stores but a um, majority of them you'll find in my website. And uh, I wish the stores would all carry them, but I haven't had that much luck with that. But they work out really good. And the reason I started making them is because I catch so many fish on them and I couldn't get them exactly the way I wanted them. So um, I had them made. So a small model like this, a half ounce, would be something that you'd put a strip of squid on, get next to the kelp, let it flutter down along the edge of the kelp, and go down the bottom. When those fish are suspended up higher, this works out really good. When the fish are down deeper, you want to go something like a, a two ounce. And when they're right on the bottom, like a four ounce, something larger like this, and it comes with the bigger hook. And with this model here, I catch a lot of the white sea bass, a halibut on a four ounce and a two ounce bucktail, just like this. And some of the popular colors is this green and yellow, all white, blue and white, and red and white uh, for wintertime fishing. These work out great. And again, you're gonna let it go all the way to the bottom. You're just gonna bounce it from stone to stone, stone to stone. If you're fishing that white sea bass, you're probably gonna be in a real sandy area where there's a, a squid been around, squid beds where they've been spawning. So you put on a whole squid, pin it on there, bounce it slowly off the bottom. And when you get bit, wind down, set the hook hard, because when they bite it, it's not under their fin or anything, it's in their mouth. So you want to get all the slack line out of the, out of the water, just tighten up your line really tight so you feel the fish, and then swing on it and drive the hook into the fish. Um, this is the six ounce. I use this too sometimes when I'm fishing a little bit deeper, uh, maybe 70 feet, 65 feet, 80 feet of water for sand bass and calicos. And there's some current sometimes in shallower water, I'll use this. Um, if it was a different time of year and rock fishing was open, these are great for lean cod and big rock fish. But right now we're just talking about the fish you can catch in these cold water months. And it's going to be more the calico bass, the sand bass, and the white sea bass, that type of fishing. And fishing on local party boats here in Southern California, San Diego, Santa Barbara, um, that type of fishing. And, you know, the one ounce is the most versatile. And you can use this everything in dropper loop rigs. You can cast this out by itself and let it fall. Um, a lot of people like to put just a strip of bait on it, like a strip of mackerel or a strip of squid, 
but when I'm concentrating and catching yellowtail, white sea bass, halibut, I'll pin on a whole bait, a whole squid, put it right here and it works out really good. What another nice thing about the bucktails is you can put on soft plastic grubs or even like gulp baits. If you want to pin on a gulp bait onto this or um, like a double A tail, I do that a lot for the lingcod fishing. You could put a smaller double A tail on here. I would glue it onto the bucktail. That way when the fish bites, it doesn't tear the bait up. You can catch more fish on it and you're going to catch lots of fish. So the big key with the bucktail and the B-52 is to slow down your action. You want to let that thing get all the way to the bottom. You want to work it along the bottom, right along the rocks and take your time working it. You're going to make a long cast and just bounce it from stone to stone to stone. Don't be afraid to let it sit there for a few seconds. Sometimes the fish are so lazy when the water gets colder that you really have to hit them on the head with it. So don't be afraid to just let it sit there for a little bit and then move it around. And you're going to get bit right there on the bottom in the sand bass and the calicos this time of year. If it was warmer, spring and summer, then I would tell you get a lot more active. Fish the smaller ones and work them a lot around the edge of the kelp. But this winter time fishing, fish the bucktail right on the bottom. Put a strip of squid or whole squid, strip of mackerel, and you'll do really well. And this is my number one bait. I can't tell you enough. Uh, I've caught so many fish on B-52 bucktails and if you don't have them in your arsenal, you should have them. Go to my website, sportdashfishing.com and order some. You're going to really like them. They're going to really help your fishing. And for more information about these, I have uh, video links down below and up above. But in the description of the video, you'll see links right to the B-52 bucktails. And once you get there, you can see all the different sizes and colors that they come in. All right, guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe right here to my YouTube channel. And just a reminder that we have contests going on every month uh, this year. So every month we'll be picking out winners, a couple of winners per month. Get some free, you know, lures, uh, maybe hats, T-shirts. And we're going to have a couple of prize winners later in the year. Grand prize winners that are going to win free fishing trips. Either be on the TV show or uh, come out with me on my boat. So thanks again for watching. Hopefully this helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys. Talk to y'all later. Bye.